What is up, folks? Chris Jardine here, community and content developer for Out of the Park Baseball with the first in a series of perfect team tutorial videos. Over the next week or so, we are going to be releasing an entire slew of perfect team tutorial videos aimed at helping beginner, moderate, and advanced perfect team users navigate their way around the mode, get familiar with the different things that we have to offer, the new improvements for Out of the Park Perfect Team 21, and just add the overall enjoyment of their experience. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a new account and get started in Perfect Team 21. If you have never played Perfect Team before, you can click on the new user register button here on the right side, which is your Perfect Team informational panel. So what you do is you're going to have to make a username, an email, uh, confirm your email and enter a password. Once you do that, you hit register. It will send an activation email to whatever email you specified in here. Uh, check your spam filters to make sure it doesn't uh, end up in there by mistake. It can take a few minutes for you to get it as well. Um, every license comes with three perfect team usernames that you can create. Each one requires its own unique email address now for me i already have mine all figured out so we're gonna uh, log into my old free to play account and i'm gonna hit login if you do have a uh, perfect team 20 account you can log in with just your username and password there's no need to reset up your account so once you log in you're going to go through the initial stage of setting up your team Every team comes with six starter packs, which will give you all the players and positions you need to get your team started. These are your blue packs that say starter across the front over here. You will get one gold card out of these six packs. If you activate your perfect team prior to Friday, March 27th, you will get also a gold pack for being a early or pre-order customer and if your account was active in Perfect Team 20 and you sign in using the same username, you will also get another gold pack for that as well. These gold packs are the regular gold packs, meaning you will get a gold card, but you can also get diamond and perfect level cards in them as well. So what you're going to do is you set up your name. I'm just going to use Snaggle Free to play. One thing you want to look at early on too is under profile and settings, you can change the pack opening animation speed. If you've never played Perfect Team, this, I believe, by default is going to be on default, which makes sense. Uh, if it's not on default, uh, you, you probably played on another account. So what you want to do is you can change it to instant. Instant is my favorite. It lets you go through it a little bit faster, but feel free to set it to whatever settings you want. Then you're going to click on your packs, and this is going to show you what you're going to have for a starting team. It's going to go through. It's going to load up your pack. And it's going to show you. So there, right off the bat, our gold card, 1910 John Knight. Not a bad starter for the squad. Uh, pro tip on this screen is if you have a bunch of packs, you can use the, the space bar to open the next pack as well. Uh, we got a Billy Rogel there. We're going to go through the rest of these and see what we have. There's a Kenshi Kawakami. Go through and see the next one. It'll do our gold packs there at the end. So yeah, so the starter packs are designed to make sure that you have um, all of the different positions covered. You're going to have a rotation. You're going to have all the positions covered. You do get that one gold card in your starter pack as well. Uh, there's Craig Council. There's Nate Correa. So then you get this pop-up, which we'll explain in just a minute in a little bit more detail. We're going to open our two gold packs as well. We got a U Darvish. Let's see what else we get here. A little bit of gold fireworks there for the U Darvish. And we have a Wilson Contreras, his teammate. So let's go back here to our main screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to submit our team. So once you're done this part, you're going to be placed in a holding status until you end up in the entry pool, which we're going to talk about in the next video. If you like this tutorial video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos in the series as well and make sure you subscribe to our channel right here and hit the notification bell so you find out whenever we get some new videos i have been chris jardine community and content developer for out of the park baseball until next time keep swinging
for the fences.